six months ago. But, but I'd be happy to make you one if you brought me the tobacco. Great. What? Remind me why I quit smoking again. Shut up. He was gay, Madeline, and he almost talked to me. Pete, he was straight. How did you know? Because if he were gay, he would have talked to me too. <laughs> I guess you're right. I wasn't just rejected. You weren't just rejected. I simply asked for a cigarette and I didn't have any. That's simple. Why does every weird homo in the world want to date me? <laughs> I don't know, Pete. Maybe you're too normal. Okay, you're kind of like the Statue of Liberty for gay men. Send me your weird ones, your refugees from too much therapy. Send these the retro queens who still think their mothers made them homosexual. Oh, please. I basically lift my lamp and go door to door. Date me! I'm hopeless! The GM wants to meet other GM for long walks on the beach, dinner, and lots of talk. Basically anything you can do with your mother. So what am I, a damn amoeba? What am I supposed to do? You know that if you were faced with some really hot guy who just wasn't afraid, it would all be there. Let's face it. With my love life, there's no threat. It's been four years since Chris, and, and I'm negative. I know. Wait, you had that date. <laughs> that was a rumor. Oh. <clears throat> oh, yes. So he canceled? No, no, no. He arrived. Came. Uh, what does it mean when they clean your house? In my case, it means they should be dating you. Well, what would it mean in my case? I thought I was dating my own kind. Obviously, I'm not straight. Evidently, I'm not gay either, because if I were, I would be dating other gay guys right now, right? So no nookie then? Oh, you won't romantic you. No. Nope, I'm the nookie. Wants to be friends, needs a friend, wants a friend, needs companionship, worried about AIDS. Well, well, aren't you going to say it happens to every guy now and then? Well, how should I know? For all I know, every guy in the world could be impotent. Ooh, don't say impotent. Oof. <laughs> you're not, Pete. I'm dying. No, you're not. I'm leaving. Call me later, okay? Okay. Bye. And then he got up. Got dressed and went to the bar. And he met someone. The guy kissed him in the elevator. And then they went into the guy's apartment and they. They talked. They talked and talked until there was only silence left. They just talked? Oh my god. This is pathetic.
Um, I know we haven't talked in a long time. Since that time in high school when you really let me down. I suppose I let you down too, but I waited on that terrace all night for you and I never got a sign or a signal or a message. Nothing. So, I had the abortion. Mary. And I never had to use birth control again. And, and Pete was the one who drove me to the hospital and back. And, and Pete was the one who sat up and consoled my mother, who just thought that I was some heartsick girl. Which I was, but that's not important right now. The important thing is that Pete has found himself someone to love. And I am so happy that he has done so. So if you can just keep him safe and protected, then I'm willing to let bygones be bygones. Oh my God, Pete, where have you been? Life sucks without you. It has been way too long. Can I have a drink? What do you have a cold? It's no biggie. But come on, Pete, give me the can. Give me the can, Pete. It's not carried in saliva. GMHC says it's not carried in saliva. Do you want a chance at Maddie? I'm just positive it's no further than that. I don't know how I got it. I was always very careful. Pete, our lives, your life. It'll be okay. No. Maddie, if I take care of myself. You know what? It looks like you already screwed up pretty well there. Wrong with me. 